What's up? What's up? What is up, everyone? And this is your favorite cup of tea, T. Shay May. Back at it again with another episode of Tea Row Time with T. Shay May. Alrighty, so this reading is going to be for the full moon in August, guys. But before I get started, disclaimer and disclosure, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you come across this reading and you feel like it really warmed up your heart and your soul and your own insides and you're kind of reevaluating your whole life and decisions, it resonated. If it didn't, it is what it is. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is dead ass. I love reading. And it's so cute. Uh, cards are four of wands. Spirit Matches says love. Moonology says don't let pride get in your way. And Romance Angel says you deserve love. This is such a beautiful reading. I can't. So with this four of wands, some of you that are either in a relationship or are about to be in a relationship, God forbid I say entanglement, things are going good. Things are going good. Things are going great. Things are going swell. Like, you guys are kind of just walking through the beat of y'all own drums together. Some of you guys are very much, like, very much relishing and such a beautiful, loving, and supporting energy of this full moon. I'm also getting that it's really not even just about you and a person. If you don't have a person, it could be like you are very much wandering through the garden yourself and kind of walking with your inner self, walking with yourself to where you're having like a reflection. And I really feel as though like this could also be a self-love reading as well. So yeah, for some of you, it could definitely be a relationship reading, whether or not you have a partner or an entanglement or like you are pretty much like in a path of and journey of self-love also where there is love there is always going to be something that wants to counter that there's always going to be something that wants to prevent that and yes it is hate but it also could be despair dislike distaste, distaste as well so that is something to kind of like watch out for and really for some of you that have this reading for yourself love specifically it's also saying that once you get through this journey of self-love self-confidence self-reassurance self-healing basically do not overdo it basically say like don't be a fucking bitch about it don't be an asshole there's nothing wrong and it's totally okay and everyone should love themselves but it's kind of like don't let that self-love then become selfishness this is pretty much a good ominous confirmation for some of you that if you are in a situation if you are in a relationship if you are going through a personal journey where the energy that you have put out the love that you have put out the work that you have done and that you done did is pretty much coming back kind of like karma in a sense what goes around comes around though it may not be from what you would want it to be it is going to be from something from someone from somewhere where you needed it the most and truly this is self-explanatory you deserve love and that you will receive that love that you so rightfully deserve and same for the for those of you that may be in a relationship entanglement situationship or anything and whatnot to say like everybody that's in a relationship that this is going to be for you guys that's to say if you are kind of in a situation where you're kind of doubting this connection with this person is going to work or not or is it what you hope for it to be for some of you, I can definitely see that way. For others of you, it's still in a working process, but the number one thing which you should always do prior to in your relationship is to always prioritize your relationship with yourself. A lot of us have the tendency to be with another person or go with another person for the sake of that we are expecting them to give the thing that we need we are expecting them to 
give that love that we need. We are expecting them to call the shots. We are expecting them to basically complete us. We are expecting them to literally make us whole. And that's why, like, everybody is so quick to call out toxic relationships nowadays and a lot of codependent relationships nowadays because of the fact it's kind of like neither parties were ever reassured of themselves or whole spirit really reassuring and telling you guys that you are loved no matter what but also to make sure that you are giving yourself the love that you so rightfully deserve and then whatever love that you desire will return back to you or will come towards you thank you guys again for joining me today for this full moon reading comment below if this did resonate with you and i can't wait to hear from you guys and see you guys next time on Tira Time with T. Shay May. See you next time on Dragon Ball Spirituality. Bye!